So, <coughs> I'm always dying in the middle of these videos. Hey guys, it's me Nyla and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys one of my first back to school videos. So it's basically how to finish your summer reading because if you're like me, you procrastinated for a total of 90 days and you had work to do that you know you had to do but didn't do it anyway. A majority of you guys have already gone back to school or you're going back to school in the next two weeks or even in September. So if you still have work to finish, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to finish them on time and efficiently. So let's get right into this video. So my first tip for finishing summer reading fast is to count the amount of pages you have left in your book and divide it by the amount of days you have left of summer. So I just wanted to say that I'm reading The Great Gatsby for school. I have a few pages left to read. What you want to do is take the amount of pages you have left to read. Let's say I have 80 and you want to divide it by the amount of days you have left until school starts. <laughs> Crying face. Then that will give you the amount of pages that you should be reading each day minimum. And I also suggest taking off like set four to seven days off of the amount of days you have left of summer because you can use those last days to soak in and really set into the fact that school's starting or even use that time to do your written assignments. But then again, you don't want to do it all last minute and stuff. Read that many pages or even more per day to reach the deadline or finish even quicker. My next tip is to highlight and annotate your book. If you have your own book, like you bought it or you just had it in your house and you can do this, then I suggest using a highlighter or a pen or a pencil to go in and mark and annotate pages. But if you have a book that's borrowed or someone gave it to you, then you can use post-it notes even and just mark the pages. So that way when you're going to do your written assignments, you can easily go back to these pages and find out what needs to be written. So yeah. I know a lot of people who cannot read in dead silence. I personally can because if I'm not, like I'm gonna get so distracted. But if you really need background music, be sure to use soft music or classical music with no lyrics. Because if you have lyrics in your music, you are gonna get so distracted and start singing along and you're not gonna recall anything that you're reading in your book. So I suggest study session playlists on Spotify. I'll have them linked down below because I have a few favorites. Now to finish your summer reading fast, you have to get rid of all distractions because clearly if you're really rushing to do this right now that means that you've been procrastinating this whole summer and you've been distracted this whole summer so you need to put those distractions away so get rid of your phone get rid of your laptop if you're using your phone make sure to put it on do not disturb and like in a far corner away from your room and have it play music if you're playing music and yeah so if you have a written assignment for your book or novel, then it is best to use Sparknotes and Schmoop because they are such lifesavers. I'll have both websites linked down below. These types of websites provide an analysis or a synopsis of the book and they go chapter by chapter and they sometimes explain the importance of certain characters or even certain plots and stuff like that. So do not copy because your teacher will find out whether you think they will or not. If you think you're sneaky, you're not sneaky. So what I suggest doing is after every time after you read a chapter, go on to Schmoop or on to Sparknotes and read the chapter analysis and see if you understood it and just get a summary basically. One of my other tips is to make sure you read your summer reading list rubric because it'll tell you what you need to do for your written assignment if you have one so for me and the great gatsby i have to point out something certain about each chapter like for the first chapter i have to pick out a 30 to 40 line passage that describes the setting so make sure that you read the rubric because as you're reading your book you want to know exactly what's expected of you and what you need to find and what is needed in your assignment so read the rubric first i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and i also hope that it helped any of you guys who need to finish your summer reading fast even though procrastination is not a good thing and i do not condone it i do do it myself but i'm just saying we can do better guys i hope this really did help you be sure to comment down below any summer reading books that you might have had this summer because i actually like to read books and the great gatsby is not that terrible i can't wait to watch the movie i will see you guys in my next video